Okay, welcome to day number 50. It's not even 2 a.m. I'm on an early start here. I got off from work at like 11 something. I went in at 1. I got off at 11. This is a long day for me. Like I'm used to five, four and a half hour, five hour shifts. And so it was a long day. I came home, played with the puppy, and uh, hung out for a bit. I didn't get anything done. Uh, before I went to work, I worked a little bit on the Discord. I'm setting up the moderation thing so that people get uh, a timeout for a set amount of time after they break the rules three times. What I'm trying to do is make it more automated. Like if X happens, then this result happens because it's one of the biggest issues that I've run into is people getting kicked by my moderators and then they come to me crying about it and my moderator's like, oh, they, well, they were just being annoying. And I'm like, okay, well, I need, I need to give them a good reason as to why they're kicked. Like, I've got your back. If you want to kick people, like, they, that's their server for the most part. I'm, I'm just there from time to time and uh, to build a community. And, like, so, you know, I, I really do want to give them that power. But then it looks bad on the brand. It looks bad on me, especially when some of them are, like, really invested and they just say some stupid shit. Um, you know, really invested in the server and then they just say some stupid shit. So I, uh, I'm i trying to figure out a way to automate it more and just make it more uh, less personal, less personalized. Like if they do something, then they get a warning from the mod and then after three warnings they get kicked or, you know, something like that. And that's what I'm setting up, but I really had not much time. I woke up this morning later than normal because I only had a little bit of sleep and Joey, the dog, and I walked to the gas station to get some energy drinks, and we came back, and then I read a little bit of my book, um, the Pat Flynn book, and then then I sat down and worked on the Discord while I ate. My food's still here. <laughs> and Got just a teeny tiny bit done with that before I had to get ready and go to work. And so what I'm, I guess, I don't have a whole lot to share with you, um, but it is a struggle for me going away and working um like all i do when i'm at work is think about all the other things that i should be doing or wish i could be doing with building the brand like i need to edit last week's shorts and after i edited all the shorts yesterday i'm pretty excited to edit last week's shorts and try and make some good engaging shorts that can draw people into that other progression video i need to start editing the next Friday video I need to get like I am so behind on stuff and Monday I'll be able to you know sit down and catch up on all that hopefully like if it's a good day and there's no distractions and no bullshit that I have to deal with I can sit down and kind of line everything out um, figure out what I'm going to do my budget in a sense for uh, blog post writing and all of that stuff over the next week I didn't really assign any blog posts so I need to get with uh, blog post guy and checking on that like it, it's hard when I spend what is it it's only it was 10 11 hours at work like that's okay most people work that I mean most people who make a living work that four or five times a week and so for me I just have a hard time spending anything more than 25 hours a week on my stuff and I'm at I'm over 25 right now I'll be close to 30 after my shift tomorrow and that's like, that's okay, but it does stress me out. It stresses me out so much because I have all these things that I want to do. And when I spend it at work, I'm just, I'm directly trading my time for money. And it's, it's, it's like, God damn it. it oh, it, it drives me crazy because, you know, while I wasn't at work or while I was at work, I made uh, some affiliate commission. You know, I made some YouTube ad revenue. I could be at work and trade my time for money while that money came in. Like maybe it was only a hundred bucks altogether. Um, with the affiliate revenue and the YouTube ad revenue, but for not doing anything, I mean, not doing anything in the moment, I'm pretty happy with that. You know, I made 4819 on the affiliate stuff and that's always a good day because I made probably a couple hundred in tips tonight working. And so it's way more, but I was there for 10 hours and I couldn't do anything else. I like when I'm able to make a little bit of money from the affiliate stuff pay the bills and keep working on more to grow that base and to grow the more content and more, more income. Um, so I get really frustrated when I'm at work, but I also know that by trading my time for money at work, I'm able to afford, uh, people who can consistently move the brand forward. Like 
not this week. I'm behind this week. I'm slacking. Last week, I could uh, confidently go to work and know that somebody is editing videos for me right now. And like, no matter what, if I worked all seven days, I would still have videos going out that are building the bottom line. And I'm net positive because whatever I'm working on or like whatever I make, whatever I make working that I can spend on the videos, I still have enough to pay the bills. I still have enough to like, you know, put more into whatever I need to put into. It's pretty tight. I'm operating on real tight margins. If I, my car broke down, I'd be fucked, but we're getting videos out, you know, <laughs> that's all that matters. So anyway, I like being able to feel that way. Like where I'm like, Hey, you know, I'm stressed, I'm working, but the ball's moving forward. Things are getting done because I was able to sit down and delegate those things out and, and be on top of my shit. And this week I don't feel that way because like I, there are not videos getting, getting edited right now. Like things are not happening. And so when I'm trading my time for money, all I'm thinking about is finishing up this discord so I can start pushing people to get the members ships and start integrating the system with the YouTube channel members and the discord members and like put it all together so that I can try and get that into a better uh, revenue stream. The like, since I started pushing channel members, I have grown that just, I mean, a tiny bit and I need to do better at pushing it. I'm working on it. I'm trying to figure it out. But now with the discord, I'll figure out, I'll be able to tie those things together and have a monthly subscription for the God tier in the discord. And, um, I, I know people will sign up for that. So I'm really excited to do all of this, but God damn, I can't, I don't have any time. It's been, it stresses me out. And I think back to the last time I tried to do this, like when I was working a lot marketing at Texas roadhouse, I was trying to hire an editor and get the ball rolling while I was working. And it's very hard for me. Like it is hard to be disciplined to sit down every week, film the videos, get the videos edited, check in when they need something like I've got all these unread messages from the thumbnail guy. He wants me to take another picture with a shirt. And like, I'm down for that. I told him I would do that. But in the same sense, I don't have time to go find that. I don't know what shirt, like, I don't know where that shirt is. I don't have time to find it. I don't have time to take the picture. Like that, that takes some preparation for me. And when my head's like not there, it's not there. And so I feel bad kind of hanging him out to dry. And like, he, I've got all these unread messages from him. He probably wants me to approve different thumbnails. I just don't feel like I don't have the energy, man. I don't have the energy to, to like, I guess I'll do it right now. Oh yeah. I like it. Oh God. These are good. This guy is so good. I got to tell him real quick. Hey, these are amazing. Hold on. Sorry. I got to I'm telling him I've been really busy. I have been really busy these last few days. Um, but I told him they're amazing. Like this guy, I love working with him. I'm very, I th first I'll tell you, hold on. I'll tell you a story about it in a minute really busy these last few days um i paid somebody on fiverr like one guy 20 bucks for a thumbnail and one guy 15 which i didn't think too much like you know 15 20 bucks for something on fiverr that's not a bad deal like, you could pay a lot more so i was like yeah that's cool that's a good deal and then i got the thumbnails back and i was like these are dope the thumbnails I make look like sh they're terrible. Okay. They're just, I mean, they're fine, but they're terrible compared to some of this. And so it's like, I was like, wow, this is crazy. I think if I had these good thumbnails on my channel, uh, things could be different. And I don't think that that's fully true, but I think it does have an impact like click through rate. But if they're clicking through to a shitty video, it doesn't matter. And so I, I need to do better on my end and making better videos now that I got good thumbnails. But anyway, I paid for the $20 and the $15 thumbnail, got them back. And I was like, this is sick. But then I was like, wait, I'm paying my video editor like 20 bucks uh, per video. So now I just doubled that if I keep doing that with thumbnails. So now I'm spending, you know, go from $80 a week to 160 to 200 dollars a week which is 800 a month i cannot afford that like i'm like no 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 so i tried to you know tried to negotiate with them like hey i've got three to five different videos that i need thumbnails for every single week like i can promise you that much content that much flow but i can't do 20 like can you cut me a deal like what about just a flat 
forty dollars a week just paid every week don't worry about it some days some weeks it's three some weeks it's five and one was like no or like you know, i'll do 15 and i'm like fuck that's still way too much and one was like yeah, i'll go 10 and i'm like i really want like just like let's do a deal it works in your best interest on some weeks like this week i would have still paid them even if i didn't need thumbnails you know what i mean like the blog post guy i'm still gonna send him 20 bucks on monday even though he didn't write any blog posts for me because i dropped the ball that's on me and i want to keep them like you know that's that's the deal but some weeks i'm on the ball and then they got five they got five to do so he's getting a shorter uh, price per deal but you know it evens out yeah i think it evens out so um that's what i was doing with them i don't know what i was talking about with the thumbnail guy got me distracted oh 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 <laughs> the story about the thumbnail guy okay so i found um those guys on fiverr did the gig whatever and then i got some emails and i think what people are doing is pretty smart actually is they're seeing like the approved work on those top sellers and they're going to the channels of the people who paid them for that work and then they hit me with something like mr bob i want to cry to see how much you paid for your thumbnail i'm like first of all that's kind of rude like i'm happy with it why are you saying that i made a big mistake second of all um like then, then they're offering me their <laughs> i didn't have a second of all then they're offering me like i'll do thumbnails for cheaper and i'm like okay down like so they send their thumbnails i'm like these are pretty good i'm happy with it i'm like but i don't like my budget i'm not going with that guy because my budget's a lot lower they're like well what's your budget and this first guy is the guy that I'm going with. And he, I told him, I'm like, look, I'd, I like to do around five a thumbnail. And he's like, okay, well, I'll design two for you. And he designed two. He said, this is the normal thumbnail. And it looked pretty good. And he's like, those I could do for five bucks. He said, this is the premium thumbnail. And I'm like, okay, the premium thumbnail. It Contextually, it wasn't a whole lot different. But when he did send me like a... A screenshot of the non-premium with the premium one in like a lineup of all these other videos and the premium one stood out now maybe it was just the colors I don't know but I was like okay I can't do 10 but I like this and so we negotiated down to I'd pay him just a flat price every um, every week and it's more than five but it's less than ten it's somewhere in the in the middle there and it works out good for me he's happy with it and there's been some weeks I'm like hey I only have four or I only have three and he's like well find one to send me and so he's like he's down to do five no matter what i like this dude and he's been he's been doing good but so after we did that first one on paypal which is nice because i don't have fiverr fees like that's a big plus not having to pay the fucking 20 percent fiverr fees plus a tip so anyway 35 or what was it i sent him the paypal money yeah 35 and then he uh he said hey next week can we do something else like paypal charges me fees and hey, can we do something else i'm like yeah whatever so he came up like revelot i think was the app and i'm like okay cool i can do it and i looked into it and he's like here's my bank details you're gonna send it via ach and i'm like oh this seems sketchy so i was sketched out and i was like that would be such a big scam for them to like find these people on fiverr do thumbnail work for them for a week maybe even longer build trust with them and then get their bank details from a bank transfer and somehow either wire that money from the bank wire more money from i don't i don't know what the scam could be but i was like i asked the company i'm like hey you know i did support chat and i'm like if i send via transfer like is that is my are my bank details visible to the recipient and they're like oh yeah and i'm like okay so i told them no on revelat and we did um uh, western union and you know I, the next week i think what did we do how did i pay him i think i did paypal again that week and then the next week he's like hey how about this and here's another option oh pioneer not western union and i'm like yeah i guess whatever you know fuck it i'll send it it's by bank transfer so but it seemed more secure than revela whatever that is like Revolut's very crypto heavy anyway with this other thing um, I sent it, but I sent it from my account that I used to deposit my cash from serving. So there's hardly, there's never more than a hundred dollars in that account. And I'm like, okay, so if he scams me, he's not getting very much from me. And so I haven't been scammed, but I was very skeptical. And that's an interesting thing. Like I hear about companies who, um, 
well, well, MGM had a big hacker thing, right? In Vegas, they had a big hacker deal going on where they just, everything was compromised. But you also hear about that from smaller businesses. And that would be really frustrating. Like you're a, making less than a million dollars a year on your small business, but like you're making a good amount of money. Somebody compromises all your information and they want half a million for it. And you're like, well, shit, like, do I just restart do i give it to them i don't really have the like that would be a tough position to be in where mgm and those bigger casinos they had the money to pay them off and i think one did maybe both did but imagine being in a position where you couldn't pay them off and then needing to pay them off for your for your safety and sanity so anyway i'm always on my toes about different scams and i'm a very trusting person for the most part like i didn't even think And not even one tiny thought that this could be a scam until he said, like, I, I, this is not a scam or something. I'm like, I didn't even think it was a scam, but why are you telling me it's not a scam? You know, (laughs) so (laughs) that, that gave my scam, scam radar go, made my scam radar go off. Um, I'm going to go to sleep. Joey is excited for me to go to sleep. So I'm going to do my daily TikTok video. It's two o'clock don't have much to post just how much I made at at work and then I guess the affiliate stuff in YouTube I spent money on energy drinks but that's it so that's good it was a good day I've got to work probably when I wake up I I don't know I'll try and wake up earlier at eight or so but I'm gonna be so tired I'll probably sleep till 10 and then I have to get ready for work and then after that I'm off on Monday I can get everything lined up I'll be good I am stressing on money this week like the affiliate sales last month were quite a bit lower than normal and this month they're even worse so far now I guess the the month the previous two months were kind of were really low and so you know I'm used to a certain amount of affiliate money and then when it's like half that I'm like oh cool this is fun like here we go let's figure out how to make this work and so I've got to work more and I'm stressed out because I'm behind on stuff but it is what it is that's life it's not supposed to be easy I guess so anyway thank you guys for listening I appreciate you there's slowly but surely people actually listening to this so that's crazy we're on was it day 50 actual podcast episode maybe six day six since i started doing this i don't know we'll see you guys tomorrow have a good night